Hi chaps, hey, a new video for the, the channel, been a wee while. Hey, I decided I wanted to pick up a, an older uh, Icom radio, so I had 100 watts on uh, a VHF, uh, up for, basically coming up for the uh, 145 Alive event. I've been playing around with it in HF, and did a little comparison on receive between this uh, Icom IC7546 and the Zygu X6100. Um, I'm using a little Sony speaker on the uh, ICOM and my Yesu SP102 on the X6100 and they're both tuned to the same frequency. So have a listen to this. Back to this. Can't hear the other side of the conversation, but uh, it uh, certainly does a reasonable way of getting rid of the noise. Go back to this. This guy's obviously in Israel. Papa Alpha say Alpha Papa Kutel. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you on SSB Mod. You are 59 uh, plus 15 dB. And the name is Yuri. My kid is Bersheva. Okay, so. And we'll switch back to this one. I actually don't even hear the other station. Roger. Uh, thank you very much, Roger, for your answer for my call. I see your photos, your uh, equipment and uh, your house. Um, very good equipment and antenna. The 73. Shalom, shalom. Good day. 73, 4x5. Yeah, 4x5. Definitely sure. Oscar, 93. Uh, and back to this one. So, to be honest, if, if we're comparing the two together, the the um, audio output from this is actually pretty decent, um, and the noise limiter works. The, to be honest, using the noise limiter, and, and you know, I mean the noise blankers on at the moment on the, the ICOM. We'll put on the um, the noise limiter and noise reduction. See how it's Japan, Japan. So, Japan, Japan. Oh, in fact, it is on. <laughs> oh, that's it. We're off. Okay, thank you very much for the night. And we'll do again another comparison. And we'll switch it back to the Zygu and we'll turn off the noise limiter. Thank you very much, 73, 4x25, Lima It appears to be quite effective. Yes, well, thank you very much. Please uh, correct my call. Uh, my call sign is number four, X ray, number five, Lima Lima, four X five, Lima Lima. Kyoto. The signal there was dropped a little bit. I'll we'll go back to the icon. I'll turn the volume down from there. So, okay, um, I have to say, comparing the two radios, the 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 cheapo um, Chinese radio actually seems to me to be a better receive, and which I have compared it with the, my nine nine one. And again, I would say it's not a lot in it between the two of them. I mean, this is an older radio, don't get me wrong, the ICOM is much older. Um, hasn't got all the latest features in it and so on. Um, but uh, obviously an expensive radio at its time. And uh, it's uh, 
yeah, it's not good. It's not as good. I, I don't think it's as good. Probably very good in its day, blah, blah, blah. But it's not. The reason I bought the radio, I wanted 100 watts for FM without having to use it uh, on uh, 2 meters, without having to use an external linear. Didn't want to do that. I wanted a radio that said that. But it's still, it's a versatile enough radio. I've got HF and so on and so forth on it uh, as well. Um, so no doubt it will get used at some point uh, for HF. But uh, certainly what I was looking for, for, uh, for 2 meters. So it's ideal for that. Um... And it wasn't a lot of money, to be honest. So there we go. Anyway, I just thought I'd let you show you show you this. The, the Zygu is uh, again is a very pleasant little radio. It's good. Uh, again, I bought it second hand for a very very good price. Um, I have added a, a heat sink to the back. Um, it's uh, actually uh, it's glued onto the the uh, um, the actual back plate, and but it, it it does dissipate quite a lot of heat when you're transmitting. Um, the advantage of this was uh, it's, it's secured with the um, epoxy that has high tra heat transfer ratio. Uh, so that's what I've, I've used on there. Um, Fine enough, you, you can use JB Weld is another one that works quite well for heat sinks. Um, JB Weld has a considerable amount of uh, metallic dust in the actual the, the glue part, not the hardener, the glue part. Um, <laughs> it's actually magnetic, believe it or not. Um, I've, I discovered that uh, a while ago actually by um, um, just stumbled across it um, and it was a bit mag uh, magnetic so it just shows you the concentration of the metal, metal particles that's in it which again is good for heat transfer so it does it does it will do more or less the same job rather than buying a very expensive uh, uh, epoxy that is uh, heat conductive but uh, yes so uh, yeah a nice little radio quite like it I'm going to get my go box made up. I don't think I'll be doing that much this year now with the out and about. But hopefully we get a better summer next year and we're able to do some more uh, field work, etc, etc. Anyway, I just thought I'd let you see this uh, and let you hear the, the, the differences uh, between a, a radio that's, that it must be, I think these are about 20 year old now. Um, so between a 20 year old radio and one that's just six months um and how things have changed um and a little sdr radios and how they well they actually work very very impressed with this get very good audio reports on it a couple of things you should do with them uh make sure you cycle the battery the internal battery is not not a great thing i don't like them to be honest because it's actually built in the later x6200 has a, a replaceable battery on the back which is much better uh it's slightly lower power output um, but it's always an advisable thing to, to have a, a heat sink attached to it or a fan, even a fan blowing over the actual casing is fine um, it, it keeps it nice and cool so uh, remember to do that especially if you're using FT8 or digital modes and run it at full power which I don't do I do use, don't get me wrong, I do use a, a digital modes but I don't. I never. I would never run a radio at uh, flat out on the uh, on digital modes, at uh, least 50% anyway. So I've been running the FT8 around about five to six watts uh, when I've done it uh, with this radio. Uh, it works actually quite well. You get quite a number of contacts with a very low power, but that's what FT8 is all about. Anyway, there we go. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. And uh, no doubt uh, we'll come up with some other videos. It'll be a bit sparse recently, just to be doing other things. So uh, we'll be uh, putting other videos at some point in the future. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and press the notification bell so as you get uh, the notifications of when new videos come on. Right, take care guys, all the very best, cheers.